Well, hello and welcome to all of you joining us here today. I'm Fiona Langsharp, IBCLC, Director of Communications and MC here at Gold Learning. And I'm back chatting, chatting with you today, talking about our upcoming event in the new year. That's 2023. We're so excited. January 17th, mark it on your calendars. But of course, check your time zone. So join us on goldlearning.com to uh, see this latest event for our Gold Learning day, which is titled Managing Weight Gain in the Breastfed Infant. That's right. We're going to be talking about all things when it comes to charting, care plans. Uh, we've got some case studies. And of course, we'll be looking at all the details that we need in order to safeguard our families. And today we have one of our speakers who's joining us here today, Mary Reingart. Welcome. It's so good to have you here today. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. It's nice to be here. Yeah, absolutely. And I know you're going to be coming in uh, talking about case studies of the poor weight gain in breastfed infants. Yes. And I, I have to say, I really appreciate all of these topics. Um, the whole package that we're doing, uh, I mentioned to you earlier offline, I said, you know, this is going to be so important and so valuable because there's a lot of fear for all of us, when we see those little fragile babies and things are not going well, and it's really about great communication with our families. I, I know this, but I, I always need to learn more about it. And of course, the latest protocols and some of the nuances that can crop up really quickly. So we'll talk more about the topic in a minute, Mary. But of course, I want you to introduce yourself and tell folks where you are in the world. Well, thank you. I am. Uh... I am in Gainesville, Florida. Um, we are really north central, kind of middle of the state, about um, an hour from the beach in either direction and uh, home of the University of Florida. And um, I am a pediatric nurse practitioner in a breastfeeding clinic here uh, at UF. Oh, that's fantastic. And so for you, Mary, has this been something you, breastfeeding medicine and care, have you always worked in it? What What are the things that you have come to love about it? Well, I, I have been a nurse practitioner since 1987. Um, I didn't have my first baby until 1991 right. and um, had a, um, had a, very important moment when I was trying to feed her and actually experiencing some difficulties when um, a sainted lactation consultant came and sort of rescued us both. Um, and we have, um, I realized that this could be a very nice augmentation to my practice to have this, these this list of skills um, and felt like I had really been lacking in what I've been talking to my families about pr until then, um, but did not, uh, did not actually decide to pursue the certification until my second baby was born. And another lactation consultant said to me, you know, you're, you have some, you have some passion in this area. You should probably <laughs> think about doing this. So I, I I've been certified now since 2000 mm. and, um, and I've really, um, for the last 14 years have just committed my entire practice to lactation and breastfeeding Wonderful. family. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. And it's so interesting where life takes us, you know, on our journey as well. And for me too, it was sort of a similar path of a very general care. And then of course, moved into primarily uh, lactation. Those families that we serve, um, Mary, you know, I always find that um, there are things that change in our practice. I'm sure you've seen it throughout your time as well. And, um, you know, we have relied on different tools, uh, different uh, apparatus. Um, but we were talking about skill today, the skill and the experience of lactation consultant, not always easy to get, you know, depending on where you are in the world, but, um, you know, mentorship being really important. But tell me about the things that you have been surprised about in your career, as you've built the skill, what are the things that you're doing more or less of now, as you've matured and seasoned in in your in your work life I, well i think um i think one of the things that i noticed and this i would make my original rn 
professors very proud. I'm, it's about listening to people and uh, really hearing them and um, knowing what their, their goals are and what's frightening them. Mm. Um, and, you know, understanding too. And um, this is, it, it's, it's, it, I tell them it's universal. Um, as far as I can tell that we, um, you know, when we, we love somebody, we want them to be well fed. <laughs> You know, in every culture that I can imagine, there is a grandmother clucking over somebody's shoulder asking them if they've had enough to eat, right? Yes, and, absolutely. And so we have these babies and we care so much about them and we want them to be well. And, um, uh, and so this is, a, this is a very, very passionate moment. And sometimes that, that extra person who's in the room, whether it's the partner or the grandparent, um, they actually have a different agenda than than the parent has for the baby. So we have to fold everybody in because that's the world that they're living in. Um, so just knowing how to set everybody at ease, help everyone to feel like we're, we have common goals here. We all want what's best, right? For mm -hmm. both mother and baby and, and the whole family's um, health is, is important here. So um, yeah, it's been a very interesting um, journey to, doing less talking, more listening mm -hmm. is part of what I've learned. I love that. <laughs> I love that so much. And yes, I imagine that there, there always is a grandmother, an auntie, you know, uh, just standing over the shoulder and said, have you had enough to eat? Has the baby had enough to eat? You know, all the things. And, uh, and isn't it a wonderful opportunity when you can bring everybody into the fold, you know, when you can be, um, you know, that voice, uh, you can listen to what the concerns are of the grandmother and address it. And, um, and I love, I, I love that opportunity. I'm mean, imagining it in your work right now as, <laughs> uh, you know, as we bring them all in. But yes, the art of listening. What great advice. Um, because I think that we are so passionate about what we do. Um, there is a, such a wonderful opportunity to teach and educate. But when we really listen, when we hear what is needed, uh, we're able to give the answers um, that are, you know, that really work for those families. So that's just awesome. Well, there you have it, folks. Folks, you just got the best advice of your day. <laughs> if you're uh, just coming into this field of medicine, then know that uh, that's a wonderful gift that you can give to families today is just to listen a little bit more. And what a wonderful opportunity. Well, thank you so much, Mary. This time with you, it's flying by too quickly, I have to say, but I'm so excited. We're going to we're going to get you at our conference and for the day. And I know that you'll be here. <sighs> talking about uh you know these little ones and and what they really need i i'm really um i'm so happy that you you know you're going to be sharing some of the case studies uh some of the stories that you've uh you know you've garnished in your career and i've had a little bit of an insight to of course to your presentation so i'm just going to let everybody know that um you really are in for a wonderful sort of treat in the sense that you'll be able to step into the shoes of uh mary reingard and uh be able to learn learn from from her on the day so thank you so much Mary I'm, I'm really looking forward to your presentation thank you very much I am also looking forward to it and hopefully we'll have um, lots of lots of good questions that will help me keep adding to my knowledge base too yeah absolutely yes. yeah for sure for sure well, thank you folks so much once again for listening in. Uh, just a quick reminder, of course, this event is the first of our year here at Gold Learning, and we're excited to have you with us. It's our Gold Learning Day on January 17th for most of you. Um, do check it out on our website at goldlearning.com. You can check out all the details of the event, including your specific time zones. Some other things that I do want to mention about this event, uh, find out if you have alumni status. That's right. For all of you who are alumni here at Gold Learning, this event will actually be free to you. And don't worry, there's still some great deep, a deep pocket discount for you happening until registering before January 6th as well, where you'll be able to get in on those early bird discounts. So yeah, definitely want to check it out at goldlearning.com. Thank you again to Mary Reingart for being with us here today. And of course, to all of you, our viewers. Bye-bye for now, everyone.